Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. In this video, I am going to teach you how to solve a error when you create a project and use dependency injection in your project. You may face an error uh, which can be like this: no parameter less constructor defined for this project. If you see an internal error in detail, an error occurred when trying to create a controller of type repository pattern dot controller dot home controller. So as is saying that make sure that the controller has a parameterless public constructor. So let me first explain what I have done in this project. I have created interface and class and I have implemented this interface in my class repository. My interface name is uh, I repository and I have a method get all users and I have implemented this in this class then i am using and uh, this interface uh, by using dependency injection and this is called dependency injection when you uh, call this in uh, your controller so, sorry your constructor here as uh, you see i have created a uh, field of this interface i repository and using this in dependency injection i am trying to initialize this but when I am running this project I am facing this error so what we have to do in order to solve this error first of all close this project and go to your tools then search for many naked packages for solution in browse search for unity mvc unity.mvc so, ok select this one and install in your project after installation you will see a readme.txt file in which uh, details are mentioned uh, which will guide you how to register your dependency injection the first of all it is saying that to get started just add a call to unity config dot register components in the application start method of global dot asx dot cs ok first of all uh, you have to search for in the app start folder there is a class unity config open this here is an example how to register your uh, dependency injection uncomment this and our interface is i repository and class name is repository okay save this and then set for global dot asax now here as you see it is saying that just copy this code and paste it no roll s and let's run the project again okay Uh, you can see there is no more error like this our project is running without any error thanks for watching